Anne Lamott is a wonderful writer, but she talks about this kind of a, a situation. She says gratitude. Now, there's like the gratitude your mother taught you to, to do. Always say thank you to the person that passed the salt or whatever it was, and the politeness of that, which is very important uh, in our world. But Anne talks about the gratitude of coming to know this divine presence. And she says it's a deeper gratitude if you've ever been stuck in things, if you've ever gotten your life so messed up that you needed someone bigger than yourself. And you knew that all of the people you knew are not those people. <laughs> so she says this prayer is different. It's a gratitude that just pours out like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. She says it's like this. When you ever get pulled over by a police officer, you you knew you were driving 10 miles over the speed limit. And then all of a sudden you saw those lights go, whir, 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 and you're pulled over and the police ask for your driver's license. You, give it to him. You try to be polite, keep your hands on the steering wheel. And he comes back and he says, you know, you were driving 10 miles over the speed limit. And I understand you've got an important thing to do, so I'm going to give you a break. All along you've been praying, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. But then you start saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's the kind of gratitude that happens when we let go of all our stuff with God and we begin to get changed. We begin to have our paths straightened out as John the Baptist will say in Advent. When that starts happening, then we're really grateful. That's gratitude.